We have started. I can't say that I never get all mm, despairy, but the future isn't a thing without the present. Well, the present seems like it's making a bad future. Mm, maybe. But there's beauty in the present, whether we end up where we want or not. Maybe we won't get past this. Maybe we will. Either way, it's better to be now than afraid of what's next. <laughs> Can I be both? We're all both sometimes, babe. As long as you're here, you're here. How did you become so wise? <laughs> My family used to move around a lot. I had to deal with things being less stable. I like to think there's at least a higher order to make sense of the chaos. There's a lot of stuff that's out of my control. Tarot, mysticism, it lets me work things out. It also lets me predict Sage's love life, which I mean, come on. <laughs> Worth it just for that. Thanks, Stell. Who put up the poster outside? Yo. Nice. God, I can't wait to destroy swamp babies. <laughs> Who's feeling smug in their leather pants now? More like bog old. Oof. Wow, buddy. I'll workshop it. Please. I want to see baby tears. I mean, not like that, like the band, crying. We'll workshop it. So how does this battle thing work anyway? LJ just picks whoever she likes most? Because she personally texts you, so. Um, kind of. But it, it's not just that, or even who has the best songs. It's also who the audience liked the most. And not just liked, but who they connected with, you know? Yeah. And whoever LJ can get people to come see. Yeah, that's why the posters are so important. If we don't have anyone there for us, we're not gonna have an audience to connect with. Okay, no problem. We could win this thing right now. Not really. I mean, we hate swamp babies. Wetland grannies. But everyone else pretty much loves them. So we need three killer new songs. Like what LJ was asking for originally. I, I have some ideas. Wait, we're not just doing the songs we just did that, you know, one? No. Like I've said, LJ wants new stuff. We got lucky just reworking the old stuff for the audition. Plus, we have a big chance now. We've got to use it to let people see the real worm drama. You mean... us? Yeah, but like, the us we're gonna be when we're out on tour, you know? Not just high school kids. So, did you put up the rest of the posters? Cause I can print more. I only took that one to school. Figured we'd have it covered. But I gave the rest to Orson to put up on his delivery route. Smart. Oh no! I forgot to take him out of my bag. Dude, I'm so sorry. So? Just put him up now. So, they are thoroughly slimed. Slimed? Okay, so I brought Mango to school again because I think she might have separation anxiety. My dad told me she makes like a whimpering sound when I'm gone, and that made my heart explode. Anyway, she just sleeps in here all day anyway, so no one even knows. But she kind of sometimes sleep slimes. Like most of the time. Like all the time. Cool. That's very gross. So, I was gonna put the posters in my locker. Mango? Wait. Mango? She's not here! Oh my god, she got out! Oh, uh oh. 
Okay, okay. Um, when did you last see her? Feel her in there? I don't know. Lunch, I guess? That was over an hour ago. She could be anywhere. I have to find her. It's okay. We're gonna help you look. But... Right, Fang? Totally. Practice canceled. Let's find a worm. Okay. First, we need to triangulate and we need bait. Here are some moss biscuits that Rosa made for her. Mango loves them. Hey, hey, we're gonna find her, get back to work, and then get you a leash, okay? Okay, yeah, okay! <sighs> Worm hunt commence. <sighs> okay, if I were a weird little worm thing, where would I go? Wait, do I smell slime? Of course I've seen a mango. Seen all kinds of fruits, man. Oh, a worm? I didn't know mango worms were a thing. I'll keep an eye out next time I'm in the grocery store, though. Have I seen a worm? Have I seen a worm? Do you see my shirt? Went down the hall. I have to go change. You're in the trash, aren't you? You're gonna make me dig through trash. Okay, okay. Whew. Here we go. We won't back down fear in our eyes And then the fire falls from on high Huh. Who are you?
Hey, hi, hello, look what I found. Oh, hey, they turned out pretty good, huh? Almost makes me wish mom and dad were back to see me actually succeeding at music. Imagine that. You're not getting it. Probably because you completely ignored my texts today, but it took me forever to pull them all down. What the hell? I had to. Lava Java serves beer after five. You can't advertise that in a school, Fang. What? That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Who even cares? The principal? The school board? The school could get a huge fine. And I'm the student representative. Class president takes the blame. Stop being such a narc! Oh, grow up, Fang. I didn't make the rule, but I'm responsible for it. That's why I sent you, like, ten texts that I'm sure are still unread. I could have helped you put stickers over the venue name or something. Everyone knows where it is anyway. Can't I have one thing, Nasser? Why do you have to ruin this for me? That's what you think I'm trying to do? You're the one who locked yourself into mom and dad's little plan for you. I, sorry I'm not doing presentations on, like, admissions essays or whatever. You guys can't stand to see me do what I want if it isn't go to college, get a job, work. I'm into music, so I'm doing that. It's not that complicated. You can do whatever and be happy. Yeah, guess I wasn't chosen for greatness. That's not what I meant. Oh yeah? You don't get it, do you? I don't have it easy, Fang. I don't actually just do whatever. I don't have that kind of freedom. And I do? I am sick of everyone treating me like some spoiled brat. Like I don't bust my ass. If I was studying every night to be a doctor or something... You'd be Naomi. Right. And everyone would love me for it. I mean, at least they'd assume I was doing something valuable. And no one would think I had all this freedom. They'd just think I knew what I wanted and how to get it. Is that how Trish feels too? Feels like I haven't seen her around as much lately. What are you getting at? Worm drama is actually getting somewhere. Finally. And you're sure everyone's along for the same ride? What's the worst that could happen if you have a backup? Not starve? Make mom and dad a little bit happy? Because otherwise, what? You live here forever? You and me both, right? Or do you have big dreams? I'm still figuring that out. What's your plan B? What's your plan A, now that you mention it? I don't know. Ha! I'm sorry. Did the student president just say he doesn't know what he wants? I'm not even graduating this year. Really? Nothing? I'm working on it. I... I still have time. Oh, come on. All you have to say is doctor or lawyer. I'll text it to mom and dad right now. I'm not just gonna say something to make you happy. <laughs> Imagine that. Why are you even doing all these activities then? Just to get people to like you? <sighs> you shouldn't let mom and dad pressure you so much. Just do what you want. Yeah. Okay. I get it. Maybe you can stop acting like you have all the answers then. My dark mage. How fare you this fine eve? I am... Ye, ye old... Fine. Welcome, Faye. Always room for more magic. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Okay, out of character. 
I'm really glad you're here. I made some last minute changes to the story. I think it's gonna help get Trish on track for the concert. Wait, so you do see that she's being kind of weird? I mean, Trish isn't really doing anything on purpose. She's just got a lot of stuff going on. Chef Jeff is served with her nerves. Please do not get on the table again, Sage. Oh, I love these ones with the creamy stuff. Oh, we got here just in time. Fresh snacks. Look, I'm not going to spoil the story, but just we're all in this together. You know, that's what the game's all about. So maybe it'll make the whole band thing feel more... You know? Yeah. I hope so. Previously on Legends and Lore. Our party tracked Kef's cultists, hell-bent on ushering in a cataclysm of apocalyptic proportions to a confrontation that left the Dark Mage Fae unconscious. Kef has escaped, intent on summoning Braxis, an ancient god of death and destruction to this world. But Faye is stirring, and their amnesia is subsiding. The Elder Celeste leans in close to Faye, on the deck of the Vagrant. I didn't know I had to prepare anything. That's okay, perfectly fine. The Lore Maestro's Guide says it's totally fine to not have a huge backstory already. Maybe we could get some suggestions from the table. Oh, oh! You're the long-lost heiress to a distant kingdom, banished as a child after an unjust coup. <gasps> Maybe you were an astute student until your aspirations turned unorthodox and you began studying the Scythe. Or you were a traveling musician who signed away your soul for incredible talent with the guitar. Maybe that's how you lost your memories or something. <laughs> Sweet. Sid parks the airship nearby while you check behind the waterfall. Indeed. <laughs>
Door now open, you quietly sneak into the antechamber. Inside, the torchlight of the cultists reflects off the sparkling walls as they gyrate around an enormous crystal that's buzzing with magical energy. As the cultists begin their dramatic crescendo, a hooded figure emerges from behind the crystal. He lowers his hood, and you see the striking figure of Kef. The le even from afar, Kef holds absolute sway over the cult. Kef raises his hand! <laughs> um... no. <laughs> He's had some hard times. Okay? What? The heroes... yes. I've got an old rusted bell. <laughs> Sudden. All right, you're entering combat. Looks like that. Yeah, that. <laughs> oh, yeah. The cultists are going to attack Molly. Next. Really? Maya. The cult. The cult. The last cultist falls. But the crystal gets exceptionally bright and then explodes. On the ground. And thus, thus, I die. Thank you. <clears throat> You guys survey the aftermath of the crystal explosion and Kef's remains. You feel a small tremor come from the caves. There's no... You know... You pull out a crystal guitar. It is gnarly. As soon as you take hold of its handle, another tremor shakes the room. This one is bigger. The ceiling shudders and then cracks, and a giant crystal falls and blocks the entrance. <laughs> <sighs> it resonates against the walls, getting louder and louder, eventually shattering all the crystals! The path is clear. It, uh, no, it, cool. You hear the airship droning above you, here to pick you up. Sure. And that's where we'll end our session tonight. So, that was LNL. What do you think? Um, I loved it. Isn't he the best? Like, dude, I can't. It's my favorite. Like, can that be my ringtone? Pick up the. I can feel it. Well, time to feed the wormy. That was epic. Super epic. Do you think it worked? Hard to say. Right. Guess we'll see. Well...
Thanks for inviting me. Expensive taste. Ha! And because then I'll have an idea of which schools are an option for me. <laughs> Great! So let's say you've got that all filled out. Then you'll want to research schools that excel in the area you want to study. Well, I like the sound of cross continental development, but I also like the sound of political science. What do I do if I can't decide? Have you considered a double major? Think about your free time. What do you do outside of class? Hmm. Not much I want to list on paper, honestly. Oh, well, I guess I'm president of the Student Life Association, and I run the debate club. Great! Anything else? And the Young Leaders League, and I volunteer with Pangea tomorrow. You... Also, write for the newspaper, don't you? Oh, right, yeah. I have editorials in the plane sometimes. Gotta stay busy. Let's put all of these down under extracurriculars. It's a good idea to have at least one, and you're really going above and beyond, Nasser. Do you have any more questions? No, I think you answered them all. What about you guys? Do you feel ready to... Choose your destiny! <clears throat> Very well done, Nasser and Naomi. Class, I encourage you to take advantage of your knowledgeable peers and ask any questions you may have. Yo, which school has the hottest student body, though? Um, that's not really a... I'm going to know, Paul, so you do the math. Um... Don't you graduate next year? I feel like you of all people should know the rules. Oh, now you care about the rules. Ugh. Really, any questions at all? I've completed mock applications for all of the big schools. I have 20 bucks here. Could I buy one of those applications? <gasps> no! Okay, cool. What do you know about GPAs? I heard you need at least a 3.9 to even have a chance at a lot of places. Oh, well, uh, I can actually answer this one. Uh, the baseline is really 3.5, but the higher the better. And you can always boost your chances by showing you're engaged with the subject on your own time. Cool, cool. You went to tendrils, right? Something like that would look amazing on an application. We can talk about it after class if you want. I'd be happy to help. Aw, thanks, Naomi. Hey, 40? I am doubling my price. No, it's, it's not about the money. 47? Final offer. Um, no! Why not? It's wrong? Uh, plus, you'd get in under false credentials, which would be bad for you. You don't know that. Okay, this assembly is officially over. Please take some college brochures on your way out. Thanks for coming, and good luck with your college apps. Especially you there, my cheap friend. I'm gonna miss 
miss you guys so bad next year. Like, we are still gonna have this, right? Like, even if we're not at the same school? Yeah, together wherever, right? Yeah, you can't get rid of us that easy. I'll have you guys over all the time to try my weird food experiments. I applied to like 300 culinary programs, but I don't know. The more real it gets, the more it's like... Ugh. No, you see, <laughs> nothing's set in stone, dude. It isn't real till it's real. I mean, I guess, but I'm pretty sure cooking is it for me. This feels like make or break. I get it. There are hobbies and, like, careers, and then there are things that almost consume you. Uh, if anyone's consuming anything here, it's me, and all 5,000 of Sage's experimental cookies. No, like, um, like when you do it, you get lost in the moment, you know? All that exists is you and what you're doing and what you're making. There's no future to worry about, only the craft. But thinking about making it your life is, is scary. The stakes are... higher. Oh, that's exactly it. I knew you'd get it. Anyway, I'm not really worried about which place I go to. It doesn't matter where I do it as long as I get to do it, you know? I just want to be able to do it. I mean, first of all, you're gonna be amazing. And you know your girl is always ready to taste test. Okay. But you actually have to tell me if something sucks, though. Uh, babe, I always tell you the truth. It's not my fault you're a literal culinary superstar. Plus, I'll have nothing but time. Yeah? What are you doing next year? I think I'm gonna take a year or two to feel things out. See what vibes. I'm trying not to put anything into a box just yet. That's pretty cool, actually. I don't get why everyone is so obsessed with college. I have literal nightmares about it. Oh, I'm definitely going someday. I just feel like, why not have some fun, too? I can get behind that. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about next year, actually. Not the word I'd use. You don't think about what you'll be doing? Yeah, uh... Oh, definitely. Um... I guess, if I'm around, I'll take a creative writing or game design class, maybe. You'd be so great at either one. Yeah, you already totally have the writing thing down. Like, you in l and L. I don't know how you do it. Thanks. Weird how it kind of became my life. Great, great. So, everyone has it all figured out. You must have some ideas. What are you thinking? Uh, I don't know. I've just spent all this time on, like, bug camp and soft circuits and welding and whatever, and... I still don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. That just means you can do anything. Seriously, you're like one of the smartest people. It's true. I barely see you with all the stuff you're up to. But actually, I mean, what takes up most of your brain space right now? What about, you and Rosa are always talking about your worm, Mango? My baby. <laughs> So why not, like, worm science? Entomology? See? Bugs are kind of your thing. That time we tried to do ASMR, you whispered about molting cycles for, like, half an hour. <sighs> I don't know, guys. What if I change my mind in a year? What if I suck at it? You don't have to go if you don't want to. Right, you're not going at all. That's even scarier, honestly. Oh, but, but you'll be great. Music is like a sure thing for you. Ha! <laughs> well, let's not jinx it, okay? I've never seen a future without worm drama. I mean, if we're lucky, things will take off after Caldera Fest. But, who knows? They will. I can feel it. And we're gonna be there to cheer you on. Hmm. I hope so. Fang! Wait up! Wait up! Hey, what's up? Hey, um, I just wanted to say thanks 
Oh, for earlier. When we were hanging out with everyone and, like, talking about the future and our plans and stuff, I, I really appreciated what you said. Oh, huh. I mean, it's, it's no big deal. You don't need to thank me for it. I just kind of word vomited all over the place. No, no, it was cool. I, I really needed to hear it. You did? Yeah. It felt good to have someone, like, get it. I mean, love my family, love my friends. Sometimes it feels like no one takes me seriously. <laughs> I know, I don't make it easy for them. I can't help it though, I can't deal with people being uncomfortable around me. I have to make them feel at ease. I get that. Anything that makes it easier for them to just deal, right? Right. When I told my family I wanted to transition, they took it hard. They were accepting, but super uncomfortable. Yeah, same. Except I don't even know if accepting is the right word for it. Feels more like playing dumb. All I could think to do about it was make them laugh. Even if it was at my own expense, at least I'd be laughing with them, right? But I, I feel like I kind of dug my own grave instead of being, I don't know, hateful about gender stuff, they're dismissive instead. And, and it feels like that carried over to like, everything else about me. Like, like me wanting to be a chef. <sighs> everything about me feels like a joke to them. And transitioning is hard enough for them to wrap their heads around, but it, it doesn't help that I dress like this. It's way easier to be feminine now that it's not expected of me, you know? Now that it's a choice for me instead of an obligation, but to them I'm like, I don't even know, playing dress up like a kid. They laugh and compliment me, but they don't expect anything from me anymore. My parents barely remember to use the right name for me, much less pronouns. Maybe it would be easier if I like, I don't know, presented more mask, but that's not really what I want. Exactly. And like, they're cool about the music stuff, but they definitely don't think it's a career for me. They know I'm, I'm good, but they don't, like, see a future in it. I feel like half the time my family just thinks I'm confused and they're waiting for me to settle on something normal or whatever. <laughs> oh my god, same. Dude, fuck that. We don't owe them normal. Hell yeah.